Okay, it's going to be a little tutorial on a quick and fast way to make a, a house. Um, right, it's, it's going to have a pitch root, so a roof, so I'm adding um, a loop cut to it. I've started off with the uh, default cube. Let's give it a pitch roof. Um, so I think let's extrude these two faces. So let's um, extrude those out. Uh, let's uh, extrude out a. Uh, is that a gable? <laughs> it might be a gable. Let's uh, put another loop cut in there. Uh, what happens if we extrude that one up? That's not bad. We can we can live with that. That's vaguely roof like. Sure, a builder would have an issue with the pitch of that, but we don't care. Right, we need to put some windows in. So I'm going to put some loop cuts, Control R, press Return, and I want a couple of loop cuts there, which I'm probably going to scale on the Z axis. So scale Z just to bring them down to kind of window height, and another two there. Right, let's delete some faces out of this. Oh, I'm not happy with these sloping up. So I think if I select those two and do uh, scale Z0. Let's do the same with that. Scale Z0. Uh, scale Z0. Zero. Then at least they're running more or less horizontal. I actually think they should do this all the way around with the benefit of hindsight. Scale Z zero. I'm just um, Alt Shift right clicking. Uh, scale Z zero. Uh, scale Z zero. Picture now. Scales at zero. Then the loops are nice and um, nice and square all the way around the building. It's going to want a window there too, so we'll put one in just about there. That's fine. Right, let's select and remove some f windows. This is going to leave openings where windows are going. I'm not going to be overly fussy, and that's going to be a door. That's going to be a window, and that's going to be a window. Delete faces. Okay, so so far so good. Um, right, the walls are too thin, so because we're doing a lazy method, we're going to add a modifier. Add modifier, solidify, solidify. Um, thickness. How, how wide should we go? Point f point oh, I think point oh five, point oh five. So we've got a nice uh, even thickness. Now, if you're looking, if you look at this, um, let's see if we can make these edges show up a bit better. No, we can't. See, it's tapering and it looks really horrible. Um, just around here. If we put um, even thickness and we put high quality normals, it should pull it to straight. We've still got some issues around the floor where that's um, tapering out, but we'll, we'll be sneaking. We'll call that a, a ramp. That looks okay. Um, now, you don't want to add any more windows in really once you've applied your solidifier, because that will scupper us. Not really happy with the roof there. We've got a bit of a bit of a poke through going on. I wonder what happened if we put a loop in. Nah. No. Some of that. <coughs> I wonder if we extrude some of the roof surface. We just grab those and grab those and extrude. 
that kind of works <coughs> and that gives us the option to add some eaves maybe let's extrude those out a bit Must have been intentional that. It's just shift selecting some of these and just pulling it down to. <coughs> let's, extrude, let's extrude these ones out as well. Uh, need to extrude. And let's do the same on those. Need to extrude. Convincing by the second. Hmm. I wonder what would happen if we put a loop in there, whether we can do the same trick with these eaves. Extrude. Bring it down a bit. Ah, we're gonna we're gonna end up with a problem there. Uh, oops, shift. Extrude. Yeah, you can see that turning into a real issue because <laughs> that they're running into each other so we'll, we'll, we'll cheat and be lazy and just extrude that part <coughs> that's the um, the modifier running into trouble because it has no idea how to deal with that we'll just leave it without one of those on that side this one we'll, we'll extrude out with extrude out a little bit there we go so once we reasonably happy with it. I don't like that bit either. Let's just undo a bit. Yeah we don't like that. So we'll just we'll just extrude that part. <laughs> Pass the rest off as character. This thickness modifies having I mean, all sorts of issues. Yes, the, the roof is really chewing into this. Anyhow, let's tab it into object mode and apply it. Uh, maybe we can clean up any problem areas manually afterwards. Uh, or maybe we can't. <laughs> yeah, but that's the gist of it. But you can see this <coughs> the solidify option is not a perfect solution. I've had an idea. Let's step back to before we applied the uh, the solidifier modifier. Uh, let's do object mode, control Z a couple of times. Let's just delete the modifier and let's let's kind of manually select where we want to solidify. Just put the uh, limit selection thing on. Uh, I don't want those bits. Uh, I want that one. Uh, so I have just got the uh, the rooms, but we're not going to solidify the roof. Have we got it all? two more. Right, let's space solidify. Now this will just add thickness to point oh five. This is just adding thickness to the selected areas rather than the whole thing. Which I think has worked a lot better and it's, we've not hit all those problems. Um, then we'd have the option of just manually building in a a ceiling which would solve some of those problems. UV editing, um, mesh, unwrap smart UV project, see what it comes out like. That's, that's just about usable. Grand. I should stop there. Uh, 